Bodhi the Movie Maker here, and this is the computer corner, the ass end of the office where the magic happens. We feed these computers our ideas, keystrokes, and a load of electricity. They chew it all up, make it into content, and poop it right into your brain. <laughs> right? Get out of here, okay? Don't listen to him. Sorry about that. I made this PC for Unreal Engine, and in the last four months I have made an animated short horror film in Unreal Engine, and I've also made seven Unreal Engine tutorials. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the most important things I wish I knew before buying an RTX 4090, and also the things I wish I knew before I built my own PC. So even if you're not planning on splurging on a 4090 or getting any of the components that I have, pretty much all of what I'm gonna cover still applies to you. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, and subscribe. And tell us the last four digits of your social security number. No, no, never do that. Don't listen to him. Get out of here. Get, get. I was gonna say, please leave your thoughts in the comments. Anyways. I built my PC for Unreal Engine development. It's got an RTX 4090 and an AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. Among the list of fantastic components is this chungus AIO cooler that has no chance of fitting inside this PC case, so I mounted it to the top of the top bracket. We'll pretend that's exactly how I planned it from the beginning. And just like they told me repeatedly as a child, you were not an accident. But I covered all of this in my PC build video, link down in the description. Today is all about the things I wish I knew before buying this monster of a PC and putting it together. First, let's talk about software problems. Problem number one, OneDrive. The name is OneDrive. It just happens to be the number one problem. Do you get it? <coughs> Anyways. OneDrive is Windows version of iCloud, an automatic cloud backup. You get five gigabytes for free, whoopee! And when the five free gigabytes fills up, it freezes up your file explorer, which is PC's version of Finder. So you can't navigate to your files. <laughs> the problem arises because you've filled up your five free gigabytes but it's still trying to back up your other files to the OneDrive, which is already full, and so it would grind File Explorer to a halt. Turn OneDrive off immediately when you install Windows 11. This OneDrive dilemma is a cash grab, masquerading as a free feature that much like a turd in a box, wrapped in a bow, placed under a Christmas tree, looks like a gift, but really turns into a stinky nuisance. That was a very interesting metaphor. Thanks. Okay, so software problem number two. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this because it's probably specific to me and how I'm trying to get it all set up. It's just the general takeaway that setting up network settings in Windows 11 is utterly complex. If you're coming to PCs from an Apple computer, you're gonna find yourself wanting to strangle your PC for all of the simple things that are made extremely complex. Why? Simple things this might leave you feeling like you need to call Windows for support. Well, good luck with that since there's no phone you can call. You can get them on a chat, but the last time I did that, they told me Windows 11 would not install with my setup because my top of the line new motherboard was not compatible with Windows 11. I proceeded to install Windows 11 30 minutes later on my own with the aforementioned motherboard, by the way. So there's that. After sounding like I've been taking a big, huge dump on PCs, let me say, Max have their own problems too. In my opinion, Macs have one big problem and PCs just seem to have a million little annoying ones. The one big problem with Macs is the issue that got me to say fuck it and pay $5,000 and build my own monster of a PC. And that is 
Unreal Engine. Without getting too deep into the weeds on this topic, which is ever evolving, the headline is, if you are serious about working in Unreal Engine, you need a PC, because Apple, Epic Games, and Nvidia just don't play nice together. Why can't we all get along, everybody? Come on. Okay, software problem number three. Unreal Engine exports videos from Video Sequencer in AVI files, but I can't open them on a Mac without first converting them using uh, VLC, which is a free software. So a little workaround, kind of annoying. Four, not really an issue, but on boot up, my PC almost never recognizes my Bluetooth connected keyboard and mouse and tells me I don't have a keyboard connected, which means you can't boot up. So you have to spam the keyboard or you have to plug in a, a wired mouse. If your PC doesn't detect a keyboard, it won't boot to the operating system. Uh, that's, what, what the fuck's that about? Come on, get your act together. Anyways, problem number five. By accident, I installed Windows operating system on both of my internal M.2 SSDs. So every time I boot up, it asks me which one I want to boot to. So that adds another couple seconds to my boot up. But once I get through those two hurdles, it boots up rapid, super fast, faster than my iMac Pro. So that's cool. That's all of the gripes I have with sort of the software operating system side. Let's get physical, physical, I wanna get physical. <laughs> Anyhow, one, the cooler is too big. Ding, 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 ding. Top mounting is fine, but uh, I may need to make a dust cover of my own. The lid that comes with the PC has all the top IO port labels. So right now my labels are naked and I can't tell which ones are which. Kind of annoying. Now finally, what you've been waiting for, let's talk about the GPU, the RTX 4090 MSI Supreme X. The GPU is the most expensive component. It's the crowning jewel, if you will or in this case, more aptly compared to a DeLorean hidden away in an ugly black garage. It's this sexy, sleek, angular, metallic, shiny hot rod that's closed up in a windowless black void, begging for you to open the door and look inside. Mm. Physical problem number two, the GPU, the power supply. The power cable adapter can melt if it gets too bent. And that's a problem, especially when you mount the GPU in the standard configuration line. Because the power cable comes out the side toward the PC case side panel. In the GPU manual, it tells you the exact amount of millimeters the cable has to come out straight before having any curve to it. And I am just barely meeting that tolerance. So you might want to mount your GPU vertically. That's a whole nother can of worms I'm not gonna get into. <coughs> I'm allergic to talking about cable management. But otherwise, talking about PC components tickles my nerd brain. Your penis? Tickles your penis? No, my brain, damn it. Okay, penis jokes aside, let me tell you about the next thing about this PC that was really hard for me to get used to. Because of the GPU's weight, when inserted into the- Inserted. <laughs> oh boy. Because of the GPU's weight, when inserted into the PCIe slot and the mounting bracket of the PC case, the GPU still sags under its own weight. Damn boy, he fit! Putting strain on the motherboard. This sag is not good. So the GPU comes with a GPU riser. However, with my current setup, the only place I can fit the GPU riser is here, which means it's standing directly on the bottom case intake fan. Not ideal. So far, I'm fine with the way it is. Also, the riser bar has this piddly little piece of rubber that you're supposed to press up against the GPU, which is surprisingly hard to use on the outer housing of the GPU, which is like an angular and slanted abstract chrome sculpture or something. I love the way it looks, but it's really hard to get that little piece of rubber to, you know, work with all these different slants and curves. And the idea of scratching your $1,600 jewel with the provided riser is annoying to say the least.
Physical problem number four. Be careful when moving your PC around. If you jostle the PC too much, moving it, the GPU could come slightly unseated from the PCIe slot, and then you'll have to unplug the power supply, remove it from the PCIe slot, plug it back in. And let me tell you about the next thing about this PC. This is one that will really bother you anal retentive people. The Noctua fans are mounted with silicone plugs. There's definitely a butt joke there somewhere. These mounting plugs are just great. I love them. They're so much easier than screwing each fan in. They're quick and easy to install and remove if you need to adjust the fan placement later, but the silicone plugs don't mount as flush as the screws would. So with the Noctua fan on the bottom and the silicone plugs going up from the bottom, it makes it hard to take the dust filter, slide it in and out from the bottom. Number seven, it's hot, loud, heavy, and big AF. I mean, this thing looks like the obelisk from Space Odyssey 2001. But all of that was to be expected. I could replace all of the stock fans with Noctua fans, maybe. Okay, it heats up the room after hours of using Unreal Engine work. Not much I can do there. For the size and weight, just be prepared to lift with your legs and maybe put felt footies under the rubber feet so you can slide it easier or put a desk mat if you gotta move it around. Don't wrench your back. It's no fun. All right, small, stupid issues. I should have bought a sound bar. I thought headphones would be good enough, but not being able to hear the system sound alerts and notifications without actually having the headphones on all the time is a pain. I should have gotten black Noctua fans. I bought two extra case fans and this color palette of bone and bone marrow. I didn't think I was gonna be the kind of guy who cares what the inside of my PC looks like, but spoiler alert, I am. What's worse is that the black Noctua fans are the same price as this, shall we say, shart colored variety. So uh, that's all of my problems with the PC after four months. On the whole, I'm very, very, very happy with it for what I use it for, which is 99% of the time Unreal Engine filmmaking. The other 1% of the time is spent browsing, emailing, buying 3D models online, and a little bit of gaming here and there. The things that I'm really looking forward to testing out, I've never flipped the BIOS switch on the GPU. It comes default set to silent. It's got a setting for gaming, which supposedly just changes the fan curve. Also, very excited to test out NVIDIA's AI stuff, like the eye contact thing. It'll make it look like your eyes are looking at the webcam, even though like you're reading your presentation off of the screen or you're looking at yourself, seeing how you look on your Zoom call. For right now, I just have to settle for this. Hey there, how you doing? Are you enjoying our Zoom call? Great to talk to you. This is how my eyes look naturally. Yeah, nothing strange here. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. Now for the final segment, 20 seconds of fun. You've earned it. Watch my buddy Eric push my other buddy Bobo down the stairs in a dog kennel. Nobody was hurt. Don't try this at home. <laughs> Dude, the kennel door just broke off. Fuck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>